Cloudy. That is huge for them. Before we move on to the next set, just quite yet, I want to look up a uh, 22 PR for Hardy MJ and then uh, 20 PR for Peer in two. So that's number 22 and number 20 guaranteed top four. That is huge. Even if they lose their next set, even if they get completely rolled and wiped off the bracket, it doesn't matter because they've already made massive waves. Now, this is the team that I'm um, – these are the two teams I'm actually very hyped to see play against each other. I think the teamwork between Sequoia and Snowy and Simba and Santi are very comparable. Like, so now this is de this is definitely going to be a team a team battle where you – I think you will see a lot of forced 2v1s or at least a lot of – even just small skirmish 2v1s that get maximum damage here. And we have seen uh, both of these teams going off of playing off each other, like you just said. They're 2v1 combos compared to like what we saw a little bit before. Oh, Snowy. Oh, Ooh. he saved that recovery. For yeah, that was about to look could. real bad. That would have been rough start to this game. But the 2v1 combos here are going to be well mapped out. You saw the full zero to death from Zakoi and Snowy earlier, and you know how well Simba and Santi play off of each other, so are there are hardly going to be any drop 2v1 combos. That's going to make the 1v2 really hard for the player who's by himself. Well, I really thought he was going to try to drop down there, so after he got the, the D-like ground pound, I thought he was going to drop down there just to get a nair, but it's going to be bottom side nair, so it's going to push him just a little fur, further down. Uh, but, unfortunately, but luckily, uh, the blue team lives to see another day. Unfortunately for the red team, though, they do not get that, get that same luxury as they are both down on their second stocks now. Not a lot of damage here on to uh, Simba just yet. Santi looking a little hurt, but as I say that, Simba does start to take a little extra damage. We aren't seeing any KMO moves hidden until that wow. side signature comes out. Nash, side signatures, man. They keep adding up stocks. You keep adding notches to that hammer. This time it's a big old giant lollipop. I wouldn't be licking on that anytime soon. But the blue team is still in the lead even after that double KO. Sakoi's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, man. Sakoi is definitely taking a lot of damage as he is already in the red. And even though I think, I think he went into defense, I, I don't really think it matters too much for the amount of damage that's being put out to him. Does... Uh, is managed to live that downlight side air, but most likely would not be able to live another one of those. The recovery still lives that too. Getting lucky, but not this time. I like the idea of the weapon toss. You know, try to uh, clear some area area under him, but did not seem to matter. And oh, so you thought we were going to get the double, but instead the only person that loses their stock is Snowy. Gets the roll in on the side sig as well, but it was not strong enough to take the stock. And there you go. It, was, it wasn't anything flashy. It wasn't anything like special. Might not even make the highlight reel. But still, Snowy came in with the GC side signature. That got over like the D-Light that came out. So Santi was immediately there to punish it afterwards and punish it for a confirming of that KO. Good teamwork from the blue team here in game one of this set. Mm. Damn, all right, that's the that's actually my favorite thing. Like <laughs> just just put the just put the uh, the lava plumes out. What's up? And, and just like that, man, you know, you get a little charge, you get the, uh, the third one as well. A long-reaching move pulls them to the top. And that's one of those moves that changes the longer you hold it. So if right. you want to just throw out that real close one, you can throw it out pretty quickly. It doesn't take a lot of charge time at all. You can extend it to the two. You can extend it to the three. So you can change up those times of how long you charge it based on how far you want those plumes to come out. All right. Trying to get back down, neutral. Okay, I was gonna say neutral. Uh, air finds his mark, but oh my! All right, so good, clean, good cleanup right here for Santi and Simba. Again, playing off each other well. Santi doing mad damage at the 737 mark. He misses those days where you could ride on a plane, man. He wants yeah. to come through with that Boeing 737, take a trip to Worlds, but unfortunately. For the red team, uh, they're not going to find quite as much damage. I believe Snowy put out like 684, something like that. So a healthy number coming from him. We had a healthy number and a not so healthy number. But we did see, I believe, Simba putting out like mid to high 400s. So still a, right. a decent number as well on top of that 737 for the blue team. All right. Well... As we uh, keep it moving in this set. Here we go. That's that team damage go. I was talking there about. And that go. was a double KO. Oh, 
my god, I'm hurt for y'all right now. Like, that is not the way that you want to start a match, especially when you're already down one game and then you come into the second one getting double KO, double comboed. All right. A 22 second double KO is crazy. GC side signature from Zakoi going to start to even this game up between these two teams. Santi isn't even in the orange yet. Oh, never mind. This could be a big moment. Both members of the blue team over on the edge. Not sure what that D-Sig was from Zakoi. All right, hold on. He's getting back in there. Oh, oh nice follow-up from Santi. The blue team is so good at that. So even such, so, even such, man, they, they, the red team has been able to at least not get decimated yet. But I mean, they got to get these stocks off right now. There's a lot of damage here on the board. A lot of blood is in the water for pretty much everyone right now. Finally gets the stock off of uh, of Santi, and now Simba. You know, sitting on the other side of things, looking. Yeah, he's looking relatively hurt, but he's also playing uh, pretty safe as well. Yeah, you saw him stalling over on that wall, waiting for Santi to come back in. He was throwing his ladder up high. They got the one KO. Are they going to convert this into a KO? Even finished up with the D-Sig. Didn't quite KO, but still so much damage was done, and it was on a player on their final stock. Simba and Santi looks like such a tough team to beat. They're playing off of each other so well, and they're playing independent of each other really well. Yeah, big facts, man. I mean, like, this is – I feel like the teamwork that they are getting right now is, is top-notch. But even, even as you said, man, their solo play right now – or at least their solo play for Santi. I think Santi's solo play is hitting – at a, a very uh, good level. I think Simba's playing a great support, though. You know, even if he's not doing, like, mad damage in a one-on-one -on -one situation, he's not taking a lot of hits, and he keeps serving things up to San Santi, and when Santi serves to him, he takes it to the bank. Nice uh, segue right there to go ahead and take that stop as we move into our third game. Simba and Santi, man, playing so dominant right now. There was that double kill opening up the game. That was a fantastic follow-up, too. How did how is he just there? Like, he was kind of lucky for being in that spot at that time, but he had the skill to notice that opportunity to get the KO. Simba and Santi playing so well today. And that makes me feel good because this is sort of Simba and Santi getting back to the prime that we were used to towards the end of this year. Like, we saw him come out fifth in Mammoth Cup, which isn't bad by any means, but for a consistent top three team, that's not something you want to see. That was after placing third in Autumn Championship. So it's good to see them now seemingly dominating in this set, looking like a guaranteed at least top four from them if they move past this set against Snowy and Zakoi. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's... I'm, I'm ready for it, obviously. You know? See if we can get... Couple extra wins here uh, for Simba and Santi. I mean, I want to I want to see them in the top three for sure. Like the way that they're playing right now, this is this is top three material, possibly even top two. Three, two. One. Yeah, if they continue to play this well, my money would be on them going over Hardy, MJ, and Pierre all the way into the losers finals and who knows they could even move past that we are in the great hall though we're going to have those two soft platforms on the left and the right kind of extending past the stage and you have that really long soft platform on the top all right a lot of i've seen a lot of uh cannon hits so far oh. i mean the damage oh wait oh he was okay he was looking for quite a bit must have expected a ground pound coming back down but yeah, i've seen a lot quite a few uh, cannon hits so far from uh, snowy, but okay. Ooh, a double. So don't go for, for those Nash triple. signatures. This time, going with the side signature, even it up a little bit. I'm not sure if that was like a wheat D sig hit. Maybe he didn't have quite the range for it. You're not going to get as generous of a hitbox when you hit it in the air compared to when you actually hit it on the ground. D light side air though, and we're going to be dead even in this game so far. Side lighting off stage, going down, going for the GC D light hits the ground pound as Simba was trying to recover back to the stage. Now Santi on the edge. It does get the recovery, also gets the down air. See if he's able to finish up this stock onto Zakoi. Oh, oh, picked it up high. I could, I, wait. Okay, he almost got double. Uh, that would have been a double <laughs> tap right there for the high KOs. I was, that turned around three times, man. That was, that was a coin flip of what was going on up there. Uh, but unfortunately, that, that flip landed on the heads of, uh, uh, I think this is Zakoi right there. 
He's the one who's losing his stock. Okay. Ooh. Nice back string from Simba. Didn't lead to any major KO, but he didn't hardly get hit at all during it. Put out quite a bit of damage onto Snowy. Oh, the Sidelight not reaching up high enough for the GCD sync punish. Right. Okay, just walks up and does it, but I uh, actually ends up taking oh! a hard punish for that one. That might have not been the play. Gets the unarmed heavy and then immediately gets full comboed into a stock, a stock loss. Snowy and Zakoi very heavily in the lead here. Santi getting very close to losing this final stock. You see Ooh. Simba on the edge going for the big deep option. Dips under the stage to get away from the cannon toss down from Snowy. An excellent move from Simba keeping him alive. Note that Simba and Santi are now actually not in the lead right now. Uh, and so this big... Oh, okay, that was... That might have been a save. I can't tell. Like, he still did a lot of damage to his teammate who was already uh, in a deep color. Okay, shifts around. Gets that, uh, gets that neutral light on to the right side. What he needed. Ooh, he almost got scooped up on that one as well. The recovery way out there, but now it's all up to Simba. I mean, even if he gets the stock, well, there's one stock. I say, even if he can get this stock, oh, he tries it. He wanted to get it as fast as he could while yeah. Snowy was respawning. He saw the possible opportunity to take Zakoi out. Now it's going to be so much tougher for him to win okay, this game. It. Gets the side signature. He picked up both of them too, which is really important. So Snowy couldn't counter punish him hitting Zakoi. Right. Okay, he gets hit off of uh, one side air from the. Oh, his dodge okay. is gone. Dang, I thought I thought he was actually dropping down for the uh, ground pound right there. That definitely would have hit. He was too close to too far down on the wall where he definitely had to touch. There was no other area that he could go without uh, losing that stock, so. Okay, Simba though, playing a pretty patient game. Playing this side very well. Watch the wall slip though. Nice. Turns it around, wait! Oh, the double? Oh, he almost finished it up with the side air. Gets another oh, like side light. He is, uh, he is actually doing, oh my God. Yo, yo, is he gonna go for oh the guard on the top and get <laughs> He went for the double D-Light. He probably needed that little bit of extra damage to get the KO off the top. I gotta watch the replay of that. that okay, bro. I, You know, we were saying that Simba, Simba, you know, he was playing a great support, but that time he supported his team to victory. Had to do the 2v1 and did it perfectly. He got a lot of, he got a lot of good hits that were like, if you don't get oh. this hit, you, uh, like, this isn't gonna go this way. He got a lot of one-time uh, executions. That was one of them right there. Look at that. One time execution and then immediately goes into the recovery. Goodbye. But I have to talk about that uh, double side sink too that hit both Snowy Zakoi but took Zakoi's stock so that way he wouldn't get punished. I mean, that's the type of play that you need when you want to make comebacks. And that is Simba. Four KOs on the board. 800 damage on the board. Simba coming out huge that game. There were so, there were like three.